guys welcome back to my youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i upload my next video and do not forget just give me a thumbs up you know i mean, yeah, I mean yes. <laughs> you have to do. So just do what you have to do okay <laughs> just do it and keep this uh youtube video alive anyway okay guys so today we have a podcast on a very sensitive topic and i have my beautiful friend here with me coach mapule i'm not going to say much about how just let her describe herself so tell us about yourself mapule we want to know thank you thank you so much for having me yeah. i've been wanting to do this for so long so yeah, I, know. I am so happy to be here <laughs> I'm so happy and thank you so much for choosing me because I'm the chosen one. Yeah. Be the host teacher. So thank you so much. Um, I am Mapule. I go by Coach Mapule on my socials and I'm a life coach. Yes. Yeah, I'm is. very much passionate about I'm very good one. You're a very good one. <laughs> yes. I've been um, coaching now for over a year. Thank you so much. And there's actually a story behind that. Which... That's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another day. Okay. That's for another day. Day. Mm -hmm. that's for another day so i believe i've been called to serve people mm -hmm. you know um growing up i come from a very big family my late grandfather had about nine children so like at home i grew up and i was the last i'm the, i was the last born for a very long time before we got a surprise baby <laughs> <laughs> so i'm no longer the last born but you know i used to serve a lot everyone at home they even call me bule like mm -hmm. pule, 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 and calling me. So I'm so used to serving, you know, my late grandparents. I used to serve them because, you know, um, they were old, you know, and I learned so much from that. And personally, I also feel like God has called me to mm -hmm. help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And that is my purpose. And this is why I am coaching. Hallelujah, <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Okay, okay. Our topic for this podcast is kind of very sensitive topic. It's jealousy. You know how people jealous. Uh, how to say the way people jealous you. Um, how people jealous us, uh, maybe about we're not talking about material things, okay? We're not talking about you having a nice boyfriend, boyfriend by you. This, this is not it at all. We're talking about jealousy that leads to evil manifestation, mm -hmm. you see. So, people kind of hate you, to, you don't even know them. Funny enough, you don't even know them. Some people you don't even know them, but the way they see you on social media, the way they, the way you, you know, so and mostly we talk, we're talking about. The way people, um, you know, they jealous the fact that people, the way other people like you. Now listen, Makule. So the way other people like you, yes. the way other people talk about you, the way you know, the way you carry yourself, people are jealous about that. It's, it's not even about you have this, you have this, blah 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 blah. No. So there are two different. Before I even talk about how I see jealousy, I want to hear how you see jealousy. Yes, and you make such a very important point. You yeah. Know? Because uh, when people do that, like, say, uh, th they see that other people like you. Yeah. And then they're jealous of that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really scary. It's so scary. <laughs> like, I don't know how you can actually go so far to that extent where it's like you become this evil person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you're not born like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone is just born like that. No. And then you decide. You just develop. You, you just develop. I just develop from your soul. Like this person, I just ate this person. You do not even know her from Adams. You've never spoke with her. You never know anything about this person. But because somewhere, someplace, somewhere, you heard about this person. You see this person on socials. You, your friend, your friend knows this person. I know. I mean, and then someone will tell you that they hate the way you talk. <laughs> Like, I mean, the, the way you carry yourself, so the things you myself. say, like, my I change me. myself. Because, you know, I want, us to, I want to take it to the way God sees us. Okay. Because in the Bible, Genesis 1, 26, mm -hmm. it says, let us make, um, uh, let us make men in our image and likeness. likeness. So you 
want to reverse what God has already I said mean, about us. Oh, let's talk about the other aspect of jealousy. Like we all have this trait of jealousy in us. It's natural. And yes. when we talk about the good jealousy, yes. it is not um, um, jealousy. It's admiration. Right? Yes. <laughs> we, we all admire. Oh God. <laughs> Girl, see when 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 I when I go on my Instagram, I say things. I'm like, oh God, when <laughs> Christine, this weekend, yo, girl, you looking oh. fine. <laughs> this thing but it's just a good you know it's not like it is when you eat on that thing eat on that person and then go ahead and then have a evil plan or start doing something evil to or start cursing or start saying yeah. negative things or going about destroying that person now that is jealousy yes and just on that part i want to uh, help someone out there mm -hmm. maybe someone that's out there and probably they don't understand what we're trying to say mm -hmm. so i just want to make it a little bit more clear for them mm -hmm. like good jealousy the one we're talking about admiration mm -hmm. and actually how you can overcome that because sometimes um, like <laughs> very very <laughs> narrow slight narrow admiration <laughs> Mm -hmm. you know jealousy mm -hmm. i would say good jealousy. good jealousy because if i see you christy you're my friend now mm -hmm. and you're traveling the world mm -hmm. i'm like i wish you i could be there Gucci, Gucci, <laughs> you know. but i'm just like i wish you know i'd be mm -hmm. with you spending this time with mm -hmm. you making memories with you mm -hmm. so what do i normally do when that comes you mm -hmm. know jealousy will visit you yeah <laughs> it will it's visit you it's so true. you need to know how to overcome, you know, overcome. Mm -hmm. so what i normally do if i see it i will you know uh, on under your post i will really comment you mm -hmm. know girl you're looking fine i'm missing you i can't mm -hmm. wait to see mm -hmm. you let's also go on a trip mm -hmm. when you do that you are overcoming it yeah. because you are not like staying in that state of like, oh, I'm feeling, ah. you know, like I'm missing out. Yeah. They wow. call it FOMO. Yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah. The yeah. fear of wow. missing wow. out. That should be when you, are, you, you, when it visits you, like jealousy mm -hmm. visits you, be able to know how to, how to overcome. Upbringing is very important. So when you grow up with parents that keep telling you that make sure your own thing is more than enough for you. Yeah. Be consistent with what you have. Even if uh, even if your bestie is buying a private jet and you you are still driving the uh, Honda Toyota Penso or whatever, it will not be like it will not enter your high because you know that this thing doesn't freak you. Yes. Other people think it's not in your high. Blah, blah blah. You might be you might want to even call and say, oh come on, let's fly. This it is your my friend. You are my friend. Yes. What you have is what I have. We hold this thing together. Oh, wow. You know that. That's that's that zeal, that passion, that that love. The love. Yeah. It's genuine. It's genuine. My yeah. play, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you something. So something happened to me recently, not recently, about uh, nine years ago. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's go so. back to nine years ago. <laughs> let's go back to 2014. No, 2013. Yeah. So 2013. Yeah. So my friend. God bless her wherever she is. She brought me to China anyway. So my friend, she was in China. Yeah, so we grew up together and wow. yeah, we grew up together and she we we do things together, right? So after we graduate from high school, it was very hard for us to get admission, you know, working through to get to the university. And we always say, you know, when you're in secondary school, high school, they tell you, what do you want to be? You say you want to be a doctor, you want to be a this. So we always say we want to be a medical doctor, okay. we want to be um blah blah blah. So at that time, all my classmates, everybody that we graduated at that time. No of them could get admission to medicine, to, to, to study medicine. I could not get even admission to study. I had to sit, stay at home for about three to four, four years for me to get admission. Like, I, actually, I did not even get admission to study medicine. The old classes I was getting, maybe they would give me, I applied for medicine, they will give me zoology, biology, blah, 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 like that. So, 
I was like, nah, until I get medicine, I won't go to school. So I was at home, I was doing other stuff, like doing, um, going to fashion school, makeup, so I was just doing those tertiary um, um, work, vocational study, let me put it down. So I was doing this vocational study, okay. So um, my friend, all of a sudden, she just called me. Then I was now studying pharmaceutical technology in the polytechnic at that time. So I was doing my internship, we call it Suez, but I was doing my internship like IT at um, one pharmaceutical company at, uh, in Nigeria back then. So I just came back from work and my phone rang and I saw oh, international number. I don't have anybody abroad. <laughs> I don't, have, I don't have anybody, it's going to be this is a fake, like, let me just answer the call okay. and see, because this is an international number. And then I said, so she was like, this is, um, let me not mention her name, oh, I can't even mention her name, she's my friend, alright? She's like, this is Margaret, and I'm like, Margaret, this is international number, where are you? She said, she's in China, and she's studying wow. medicine. I was, see, at that time, if I was a, a wicked, or let me say, I have to say, someone that is jealous, I'm like, eh, hey, okay. Yeah. So you, you went to so see that you've left. Yeah, that's you that's calling me now. You didn't even tell me where you are doing process. You didn't tell me. You know, normally, mm -hmm. you, we are friends, we're close, we do things together. Like, you left. Even you've been there for one month, Steph, you did not call me, you did not do anything. So if I'm that kind of friend, I'll be like, ah. You left since you did not even tell me the process, you did yeah. not tell me anything, you just left me. If you even went there one month, it's not so this is me telling you my honesty. I promise. I mean, I didn't think about that. To be honest, I promise. I have a witness. My fr other friend, bless you, she was with me that, that day. I didn't think about that. I did not even it didn't even occur. It was later later, you know, later later you now said that and I think, ah, this girl too, but that was that was later that later. Was but later. at that moment, yeah. I was Filled with joy, uncontrollable joy. Wow. She didn't know she had never told her this before. Maybe when she watched this video, she's gonna say, but I have never told her anyone about this before. I was filled with uncontrollable joy. Wow. And the wow. joy, okay, among all of us, among all my secondary school, somebody actually went to study medicine. Mm. That was my joy. Wow. Not that she traveled abroad. My joy is that finally I will have a doctor friend. Yeah. This was like a big deal. This doctor thing was a big deal for us back then. So I'm like, ah, oh, finally I'll have a doctor friend. And after I dropped a call, I danced and danced. Yeah. I was dancing. I was singing praises to God. I was like, um, God, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see. Come and see. I was dancing. I was sweating. And my, my other friend, bless her, she came in and was like, Tosi, what's up? What happened? Why are you dancing? Why are you so happy? Did you win lunch? You're like, my friend went to a brother. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, I was so happy. I'm like, my friend, my friend. She was like, which of your friend again? I'm like, hey, my friend, oh, my friend is in a brother. She's not in Mexico. She's in China. I was extremely wow. happy. That shows you have a really good heart. This is, yeah. this is, I've always been like this, actually. Yeah. When I see my friend doing things, I'm always happy. I don't know why you, you would want to get jealous of, of someone else's else. progress, you know? Yeah. You don't know what it takes for them to get to where they are. Yeah, I think, you know, just adding to what you're saying, I also don't get it, mm. you know? But I think it's more on people can see your light. And what I'm getting from your story is that when you're genuinely happy for someone, you attract good, good things. things in your life. Yeah, you and, attract. And that also goes hand in hand with humility as well. You know, mm -hmm. you can't have a good heart and not be humble as well. I think people that have bad intentions mm -hmm. and end up, you know, developing hatred for someone else is because they're very proudful people. Because they have this mentality that, oh, who are you to become such a great person, let's mm -hmm. say you are a business owner, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you started from the bottom and then now And the thing is they do owner. not even know what you've been through. I will not see your success as a threat. Because like we said earlier, if you have a good heart, you 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 make way, you make mm -hmm. room for your own blessings. I congratulate you. You are opening a new shop, I congratulate you and say, my sister, well done, God is good. It's a way. There is definitely a way. What I'm getting from this is that there is a way how you can do things. Because with me as well, I experienced that. Like, I am a life coach. 
and there's a certain friend of mine that I will mention. Um, she also was interested in coaching. So I'm like, okay, um, this is how you go about doing this, right? And then I got disappointed by this friend of mine because she started now the way I'm calling myself because I'm a mental health mm -hmm. and um, emotional management coach. Now she started calling herself the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but my thing was also like, you don't have, there's, there's, there's room for everyone. Mm -hmm. With coaching also, it's like YouTube, you know, people, mm -hmm. there's a lifestyle, they, they, they have content for lifestyle, mm -hmm. they have content for different things. Mm -hmm. So also with coaching, you can be um, a lifestyle coach, you mm -hmm. can be a happiness okay, coach. Okay, she, she could have choose She can choose, minutes. my friend. <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. She could have chosen something, something else, else, but now she's using the exact same exact thing. Same thing, my friend. I can't give you everything now. I spoon fed, I spoon fed you. I told you how to go about doing this, how to mm -hmm. start it, and everything. Mm -hmm. At least your niche. Your niche is different. Bit different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So what does that mean for me as your friend? I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm trying help you my friend but what is going on <laughs> what is i understand you know like the last time I, I i gave a topic to in the women empowerment and i said is it okay to bring your friend to where you eat to where you work, work. yeah you see it's kind of the same it's, it's tricky it's very tricky. you know when i gave that when i asked that question a lot of people in the group were like ah, why not she's my friend i should help my friend you should be able to help it's more than that it's more than that yeah especially you know people change Change. You think you know people, but yeah. they change. They do. They change. So let's round up. We're talking too much. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a <laughs> From lot. jealousy. It's, <laughs> it's a lot. So now mm -hmm. we round this up. We're going yeah. to round this up and we're going to say there's two jealousy. There's good jealousy and yeah. there's bad jealousy. Mm -hmm. So and when we talk about manifestation, when you when you when you when you're happy mm -hmm. about someone's progress, okay? That thing you attract good things. That same thing. Yeah. You attract to yourself. That's true. Trust me, it's it's real. When you have this hatred or heaviness, let's use that word. We didn't use heaviness yeah. on someone, and then you start eating that person, eating on the thing those the, the people are, the person is doing. Then you start manifesting bad yeah. things in your thoughts. Because, um, you know, bad jealousy is a form of witchcraft, you know? You may not even do anything to that person, but because yes. your brain, your mind is wishing that person bad, yes. you can just say bad things will start happening to that person. At the same time, bad things start happening to you. you. That's why all these people that are hating on others, they don't, don't go see forward. Them I don't they still see remain the same place, they don't go forward. So we're going to end. We're going to end this podcast here. I, I I just believe that you guys have enjoyed. Yeah. We didn't bore you guys. We didn't bore you at all. You have enjoyed our podcast, our storytelling, and then next time we're gonna bring you guys some jolly jolly. Yes. <laughs> something so else. Today. Something topic, you know. Yeah. And then um, we we hope that you um in, from this our discussion today you have learned something. Uh, it's very important. You support know. your friends. You should support each. Other, yeah. this life is so short. Is. Yeah. Why do you want to keep grudges? Why do you want to eat on people? Yeah. And it's very important to work on yourself because if I'm seeing you all the time, you are leveling up, leveling up, and I'm not doing anything, of course, it's going to bring hatred. So, also work on yourself and also mind your business, you know. Work on yourself, mind your, mind your mind your business, yeah. be happy. <laughs> be happy, yes. Be happy, take things easy. Not yes. <laughs> Focus on you. And then when yeah. when so many people, when so many people have something to say about you, it's very important to check yourself. What about that? Like when when you make some oh, that girl is so rude. This one, oh, that girl is rude. Oh, that's Everybody is saying the same thing about you. I mean, you should be able to work on yourself. Like, okay, wow, people. And I know some people that will be like, I don't care what anybody think about me. I don't care if you like it, me, if you like. What about you working on yourself? That's another conversation altogether. Because I feel a lot of people, they don't want to do self-reflection. Mm -mm. Self they just pass the blame on whoever. Can we talk about that? Because people don't want to be accountable. 
Mm -mm. I'd rather say, oh, it's this other person, it's you, mm -hmm. it's not me, and people want to blame. Mm -hmm. They don't want to change. Mm -hmm. They don't want to work on themselves. They want, they want yeah. you to be perfect for them. Listen, but they don't want to be perfect for you. They want you to be perfect. Like they want yes. you to speak some way, do something. Sure. They want and then but when you do stuff and then they talk to you, you you are always right. Yes. And as a, a life coach, I'm gonna throw that in. I always tell people you have to master yourself. You know, spend time with yourself. Very important. Get to know who you are. Because I think those people that like to blame others and are not accountable, they don't know themselves. And then you chase <laughs> good people out of your life. Ooh. People that are supposed to help you. See, let me tell you I something. I felt that. Let me tell you something. There's no, there's no mm. little person. Mm. There's no little, like I used to tell, there's no little customer. Let me put it that way. Yeah. There's no little customer. Somebody might add you up today. They will not buy anything from you. But tomorrow you see them sharing your contacts with people that will be buying thousands from you. True. But because you're not patient, because the person is asking too much question, you just block the person, you delete the person. How would that person be able to refer you to potential people? Yes. So we need to be very careful. We need to be very mindful. We need to educate ourselves. True. We need to self-reflect and mm. see where we are having problems with everybody. You have problem with this, you have problem with that. And you think that those people are toxic to you, they're toxic to your life. Why not check if you are the toxic person in their life to begin with? Yeah. Because this is what I do. When something happens between me and my man or my boyfriend or my friend or whatever, I just sit down and think, where did I do wrong? Like, where did I go wrong? Huh, I could have done like this. I could have done this. Way. I could have... Then, if I, I see that I'm wrong, even when I'm not even wrong, I go and tell, okay, okay, come, let's talk, let's talk. I, I'm very good at this. I'll call That's you, let's good. talk. I'm like that too. <laughs> let's talk. Yeah. We don't have to fight. No. We don't have to keep grudges. We don't have to be enemy. We can talk about it. Let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. Okay, I'm sorry it happened this way. But your story doesn't mean it's, not, it's never going to happen. It's going to happen again. But the, the willingness to be able to accept and forgive and see that this person actually have a, no, 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 there are some people that are very toxic that you need to let go. But when you, yes. they, you need to be able to differentiate people that are toxic yes. yeah. and people that love you genuinely. Yes. You need to be able to differentiate yeah. this, not because of your own past experience, then you render everybody the same. And it's important, I think, I would add that people should listen to their intuition. They call it intuition. Um, you know, there's parts of yourself, sometimes there's this part of you that tells you, okay, this person's energy is good for me, and this person's energy is bad. Let's, <laughs> let's end on that note. Yeah. So, guys, I hope you enjoy our Wow. Yeah, we talked a lot. <laughs> we should do this more often. We should do this more we often. Should, we should. Stay tuned, and God bless. See you on our next podcast. Bye. Bye.